Reader's Notebook Lesson 4, page 40. So page 40 here is working with our spelling words. It words with the short O and the long O. So short O makes the ah, 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 ah sound. And the long O says its name, so it says O. So we need to look at our spelling words here, which we have block, shown, oatmeal, wrote, fellow, scold, coast, odd, locate, slope, throat, host, online, shock, solve, known, remote, stock, boast, and glow. So we need to look here. It says write the basic word that completes each analogy. Um, analogies are comparisons. So they may give you like an item with a category and then you have to compare that to another item with its category. So let's look at the first one. Soup is to lunch as blank is to breakfast. So they told us that soup is comparable to lunch. So what is comparable to breakfast? So looking at my list here, black shown, Okay, oatmeal could work. Let's see if there's any others just in case. I'm looking down my list here for maybe a food item because they said soup is to lunch. Okay, nope, there aren't any food items. So, yep, yeah, people eat oatmeal for breakfast. So, soup is to lunch as oatmeal is to breakfast. I'm going to move this up just a little bit so I can read it. Okay, um, let's look at the next one too. Okay, um, typed, so like typing things. Typed is to email as blank is to letter. So typing is to email. So I type out an email as blank is to letter. So if I type an email, then how do I get a letter? Usually people, you got it. Usually people write a letter. So let's see if there is write. Oh, there's wrote. Let's see if there's write. Nope, just wrote. So typed is the email as wrote is to letter. Wow, my boxes are off. Okay, so looking at analogies, it's comparing one thing to the next, and they're using the same, um, same concept to make a second analogy to it. Alrighty, challenge. Write a paragraph about taking an ocean voyage to another country. Tell about your trip on the ocean. Use the four challenge words. Um, right on a separate sheet. So we're just going to write it down here. I am taking a voyage to... Hmm, Miss Johnson's going to Italy. Okay. Um, I will have to travel to a different continent. There's one of my words. In order to get there, I will have to... Let's see, I want to use motion. I will have to travel by the motion of the ocean because the ocean's going to have a lot of waves. I'm going to have to really be a good sailor here. I will approach many waves and possible weather conditions. I know if I put my mind to it, I can accomplish, there's another one, anything. Let's see what I have here. I am taking a voyage to Italy. I will have to travel to a different continent. Put this in red. In order to get there, I will have to travel by the motion of the ocean. I like that. I like that it rings. I will approach, there's another one. Many waves and possible weather conditions. I know if I put my mind to it, I will accomplish anything. Okay, it doesn't have to be um, super long, but just enough to tell about a trip on the ocean. Okay, um, I didn't use bonus, but that's okay. Um, you can go wherever you want. Just let me know how is your voyage going? Did you meet somebody? Did you see something? Um, it is completely up to you where you take this, okay? So you are all set and you can begin the assignment.